Kad tamo? Samo Milošević i ja smo o tome razmišljali. Nismo druge uključivali. I ocenili smo da mi moramo da predupredimo njih. They transferred every Bosnian Serb in the Federal Army to units in Bosnia. This provided Karadic with an army of 80,000 soldiers, fully trained and equipped. Milosevic could deny responsibility, but he kept his hands on the levers of power. Mi smo naravno njima kazali da će oni dobiti svaku našu materijalnu pomoć, da oni nisu imali svoj budžet ni ikakve mogućnosti da sami nastave, da se organizuju, da primaju plate vojni oficiri. Milosevic also offered his Serb paramilitaries. Armed by his secret police, led by extreme nationalists from Serbia, they were the specialists in terror. Mi nikad nismo dobili naređenje, uvijek je to bila molba. Zamoli nas Milošević, zamoli nas Admilo Bogdanović, zamoli nas neki general, recimo Domazetović, neko drugi, kaže treba toliko i toliko dobrovoljaca za to i to mesto i mi skupimo toliko dobrovoljaca. The first place Milosevic sent the paramilitaries was the city of Bjelena. The Serbs wanted absolute military control there. It was the strategic crossroads of northeast Bosnia. The heavily armed Serbs captured the city in three days. Then, they rounded up the local activists in the Muslim party. A vijest se brzo proširila, naravno, kontradiktorne, neverovatne skoro, ali nažalost istinite o tome da se ubija civilno stanovništvo. The paramilitaries invited one photographer along. His presence did not stop the executions. He caught this man's last plea to be allowed to live. Sa ugorčenjem smo saznali šta se tamo događalo. I u sebi se kleli da se to više ne smije ponoviti. Pozivam sve građane Bosne i Hercegovine, dakle, ne samo muslimane, kome kojima pripadam, nego i Srbe i Hrvate, i pripadnike drugih nacija, baš sve, Izabegović called on all Bosnia's police and militia to defend the state. The next morning, the citizens of Sarajevo, in their thousands, took to the streets, demanding peace. They saw the city's tradition of tolerance, more mixed marriages than anywhere else in Yugoslavia, at mortal risk. They occupied the parliament chamber. Vlada se raspala. Narod je prepušten sam sebi. They opposed the nationalism of both Izabegović and Karadić. The Serb leader could watch it all. His office was across the street in the Holiday Inn Hotel. He saw the crowd challenge his right to divide the city and attempt to march on his headquarters. I was immediately taken to the phone and told our police that they could expect that they would come to the mass of miratvorers, the so-called miratvorers. And our police was able to prevent that it would happen. Six people were killed. In the city center, Long and Izabegovic stronghold, his police soon reasserted control. They arrested the Serb snipers in the Holiday Inn. 
Karadzic and his followers had fled the city and taken to the hills above Sarajevo. They began sporadic mortaring and sniping to show Izabegovic who was boss. Ovaj, zagrmili topovi nad grada, kada se grad već bio počeo, kad je počelo rušenje grada, krajišnik je ponudio da se nađemo i da, da, se, da se dogovorimo kako je rekao Sarajevo. They chose the now abandoned parliament building for their secret talk. Ja sam došao prvi i kad sam došao tu onda je bio jedan mrak. Mi smo bili prije toga na neki način kao prijatelji smo bili jer smo radili jedno vrijeme u toj skupštini i tako dalje. Tada sam vidio njihovo obezbeđenje koje su imali automate sa prigušivačima i tako dalje ili tako nešto slično. Ja sam rekao, znate, slabo vam, slaba vam je to oružje, u Srba je to mnogo bolje. Jednostavno sam se malo našalio. On je meni rekao ovako, ne može se izbjeći podjela grada. Mi smo uvijek razmišljali o podjeli Sarajeva, da bi Sarajevo bilo i muslimansko i srpsko i tu nikakva tajna nije. Ja podjelu nisam, nisam prihvatio. Mi smo se pozdravili, on je mene dao za, za neku uspomenu jedno, jedno, jedno pero. The Serbs hesitated before launching an assault on Sarajevo. Their first objective was to take those parts of Bosnia closest to Serbia itself, no matter who lived there. Sa stanovišta srpskog naroda za nas je jedino prihvatljivo da smo nezavisni, da niko ne može nad nama da dominira, da brojnost drugog naroda, recimo muslimanskog, nema na nas nikakvog utjecaja. Da ne može da odlučuje našu sudbinu koliko procenata muslimana ima. To je naše pravo. In the territories where Serbs were the majority, they took control. But between Serbia and the Serb areas of Bosnia lay a region where most of the people were Muslim. In each of the principal towns there, Garajda, Foča, Srebrenica, the local Serb leader gave an order to the Muslim mayor, disarm your police and surrender. Zvonik, the crossing point for the road and rail links between Serbia and Bosnia, also received this order. Ja bih rekao da ipak ne postoji baš neki poseban razlog da se svi je tako sklanja u tom broju nisi da izbjegava boravak u zvorniku jer nalog mora znati da je i srpska demokratska stranka brine o svojim građanima. But here too the town police had been ordered to lay down their arms. Svornik's Muslim mayor was called in and told the town would be Serb. He had no choice. I zaista mogu da tvrdim da nema šansi za nekakvo napadanje zvornika ni sa jedne ni sa druge strane. Može se živjeti zajedno. But the mayor knew that federal army tanks had already surrounded his town. Milošević definitivno preuzima apsolutnu kontrolu i ta zvonička operacija je planirana u Beogradu. U njoj su učestvale snage bosanskih srba i one su bile brojnije. Međutim, specijalne jedinice i najborbenije jedinice došle su s ove strane. To su bile direktno jedinice policije, takozvane crvene beretke. To su specijalne jedinice službe državne bezbednosti Srbije. Tu su bili dobrovoljci srpske radikalne stranke, Šešel, the paramilitary leader, briefed Serb forces in this hotel. According to the UN War Crimes Commission, he read out the names of leading Muslims in Svornik to be killed. The Serbs launched their attack. The city's defenders were driven out of town within the day.